story time in this mother You know what? I don't know what to call this segment. Just a bunch of like stories that some friends ask me here. So here we are, I guess. What am I gonna call it? Story time with Botomaki? Um, Boto stories? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. You let me know in the comments what you want this whole segment to be. Anyway, while in college, I used to work at the local bookstore on campus. I was also quite the looker. I think so. College Brad was a lot cooler than current Brad. Used to do like some modeling for the store, did some random photo shoots or whatever. People said that I dressed like I was like just constantly going to the club. I also tried emulating like this whole anime character kind of persona. I'd walk around with my art bag or something like that, like pop over my shoulder and just kind of go down campus looking like a cool guy. I was pretty styling back then, as surprising as that may be. I actually had a group of women and a couple of dudes kind of like jogging me for a while, which was kind of interesting. Another story for later. Anyway, one day I was walking from class to go to work. On the way from the art building to where I worked at, there was like this little roundabout where you could just drop people off. And this one guy, he just looked like one of those like rich dudes from like LA or something like that. And he was all decked out with chains, jewelry, shirt with like his chest hair popping out. He had like this obnoxiously expensive convertible. It was like probably the newest Porsche at the time. Anyway, as I'm walking towards work and then I just happen to pass this guy's car and looking at his car I'm like, oh, that, that's kind of a dope car. And he sees me looking at his car and he weighs me down and he's like, hey, hey, uh, you, you with the art bag, uh, do you know where so-and-so building is at? As I'm explaining, he's like, oh yeah, 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 that's cool, thanks, thanks. By the way, man, you looking sharp, boy, you looking hella sharp, man. You want a job? I'm like, um, I'm actually on my way to work right now, but I'm good, thank you. He's like, oh, you sure, man? Because, damn, man, you looking sharp, boy, you looking fly, you ooh, you looking sharp. Like, he kept on saying that, he kept on like, oh, you looking sharp. I'm like, yeah, I mean... I'm good, thanks, I guess. It's okay, man. I mean, if you're looking to make more money, I got you. I got a job for you. I really want to offer you this job, man. Oh, God damn, boy, you look sharp. You got a phone number I can, like, hit you up at? And this is at around a time when, like, no one had, like, smartphones yet. It was still, like, you know, like, hard tactile button cell phones. I'm like, oh, man, I just got a new phone, but it's in my locker right now, so I don't know the number. Do you have a business card? And... It's like, yeah, man, yeah, I got a business card. Uh, it's in my glove box. So we walk over to his car, and in the passenger seat, there's this, like, really, like, super buxom chick that's just, like, sitting in the passenger seat. Guy gets down in his car, and then he has it to where when he opens the glove box to his car, his elbow is, like, just pushing his passenger's boobs up higher to where like when he opens it like it pushes it and then the boobs are just more exposed than they already are. As the glove box opens, all these rolls of money, just like 50s, 100s, whatever, just spill out of the glove box. He's over here digging and pushing all this stuff. He's like, oh man, you know, got a lot of paper here, man. Just pushing all this paper. Let me get you, let me get you that card though. Finally gets the business card, hands it to me. Yeah, man, like, I mean, if you're looking for a new job, man, just hit me up. That number right there, that's my direct line. The other number there is to my secretary right here. But, man, just hit me up. I mean, God damn, boy, you looking sharp. Oh, boy, you looking sharp. So I'm like, yeah, um, awesome, thanks. Uh, thanks to the business card. Uh, yeah, I'll look into this. I'll look into this. Thank you. So, um, he dries off. He, like, peels out. Burns and just, like, takes off. I just have this business card and some dude just, like, offered me an obscure job or whatever. Um, I never found out what that job was. Like, in retrospect, I kind of think the guy was, like, an actual casting director for, like, porn or something. Because, I mean, the way that the dude looked, like, he straight up looked, like, hella guido out. And again, there's that uh, one girl in this passenger seat that just tits everywhere, like, just all over the place. Like, I don't know how she remained covered, but... It was just out there. Yeah, I really think that guy actually worked for porn. Like, I seriously do. The fact that he was dressed like that, uh, the female in his car was also dressed as she was, and he kept on going, oh, you look sharp, boy. Mm, you look sharp, like, made it real uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure that he was, like, a casting director for porn. Anyway, that's my story for today. If you want to hear more stories like this, or just any random story that happened to me, then let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that other jazz, and we will see you in the next one. Deuces.